Hello, and welcome to your channel, a window to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make some delicious pork rib tamales in red sauce that are so delicious that you can prepare them for your family for Christmas Eve or New Year's Eve dinner. I'm going to mention the ingredients in the step-by-step -step recipe and, as always, I'll leave them in the information box below. Okay, let's get to the first step. Let's go over to the stove. Look, this is the meat that I'm going to need. It's 2.5 kilograms of pork ribs. It's a rib that's really loaded so that these little tamales are really tasty. I'm also going to show you the flour that I'm going to need. I'm going to need two bags of nistamal flour, nistamalized corn that's special for tamales. I'm going to use 2 kilograms. Okay, let's go over to the stove where we're going to cook the meat. Okay, here we have the water. We have three and a half liters of water. It's already a little hot. Of course, we're going to add salt. We're going to add two tablespoons, two teaspoons of salt. And I'm also going to add onion, a piece of onion, two cloves of garlic, and some bay leaves. I want this broth to have a lot of flavor because it's what we're going to use to knead our dough for the tamales and it goes into these nicely loaded ribs. Look at how pretty these ribs are. So these tamales are going to be delicious, delicious. Once we add the meat, we're going to cover it. I'm using a pressure cooker. So this meat will be ready in 45 minutes, but if you put it in a conventional pot, you can leave it for about two. We're also going to need some for what's going to be our sauce. Here we have 15 guajillo chilies. Look how pretty these chilies are. They're already very clean. We remove all the seeds and these are some pretty nice chilies. Just look. We have 15 chilies and over here we have 3 ancho chilies that are also very pretty. Look, I love the smell of this dried chili, very traditional Mexican. Here I'll mention the lard that I'm going to use. Let's knead our tamales. We have 800 grams of pork lard that has to be at room temperature. Well, over here we already have the hot water where we're going to hydrate the chilies. We're going to let them soften the meat very well. It only needs a little bit more, it will need about 10 minutes. We're going to hydrate them and then blend them. We also put half an onion here and of course we're going to add all the chilies. We're going to leave them there for the necessary time to hydrate. These little tamales are going to have these vegetables. Look, over here we have chopped potatoes, which we cut into strips. We have olives, we have onions also cut into strips. We have pitas and poblano peppers. These tamales are Baja California Sur style. Each state has its own way of making tamales. I'm going to show you how we make them here in Baja California Sur, that part of Mexico. With the peppers already hydrated, we're going to blend them. We're going to add 3 cloves of garlic, about this size. We've also added the onion, half a cooked onion. And we're also going to add cumin. This much cumin, look, whole cumin. And we're going to add oregano, a small teaspoon of oregano. Of course, we're also going to add salt. We're going to add this teaspoon of salt and we're going to blend it. We added the cooking water where the peppers were hydrated. And we're going to blend it. And once it's blended, we're going to season it with a little bit of lard. We're going to let it boil for about 5 minutes. We're also going to adjust the salt. Let's taste it to see how salty it is. Let's let it boil there. Like I said, for about 5 minutes. Okay, let's let the chili, 
this red sauce, start to boil, season itself, and get really good. And here we're going to open the pot because all the steam has already escaped. This meat is ready. Let's check it. Let's take it out to chop our meat. Look, the meat is a little soft. This chili is already well seasoned. Look, we reserved a little bit of chili here to give color to the dough. I reserved more or less a cup of chili in the meat. I have it here ready, chopped. I was careful to remove the bones from the ribs. Just in case there's an accident. So make sure to remove the bones from the ribs. They are nicely chopped. Let's add the meat. There's no need to boil the chili with the meat here because the meat is already cooked through. We're just going to mix it in really well and now we're ready to start making our tamales. Let's start beating what's going to be our dough. Here we've already added the 800 grams of pork lard. Here we have the liquid that we're going to use to hydrate the corn flour. We have the broth where the meat was cooked. I'm going to start beating the lard until it's a little fluffy. There you go. Look, once we see that our lard has puffed up, look how nice it turned out, how nice it turned out. Here at this point we're going to start adding the corn flour, which I'm using specifically for making tamales. I'm going to start by adding a little bit. I'm going to add the broth and flour one by one. First, we add a little bit and then we're going to add the salt. Salt is always to taste, but make sure you add enough salt so that our tamales are really tasty. I'm going to stop and add a little more flour. And I'll keep beating. I'm going to stop and add a little more broth here. I have a quart of broth. At the end, I'll tell you how much broth I needed to knead our dough. I'm going to stop and now I'm going to add a little flour, corn flour. And I'm going to keep doing this until I'm done. Okay, this dough is ready. We've been doing it for 20 minutes and we're going to do the glass of water test. We're going to put a little piece of dough here. If this dough floats, it means that our dough is ready. Look how it floats. This is ready. Now what I'm going to do is add chili to give my dough color. I like the dough to be a little bit red, so I color it. That's how we make them. We make them here in my hometown of Baja, California Sur. I'm going to use the blender to mix it better. Well, now I'm going to start making the tamales. Look, over here we have the tamale leaves to make tamales, well hydrated and very clean. And the dough turned out beautiful. Just look at the quality of the dough. It's very fluffy. And now I'm ready to start making these tamales. I want you to see how easy this dough is to spread. When we get this perfect dough needed to make tamales, everything becomes easy. Just look how easy the dough is to spread. I'm only going to stop there. 
You can make your tamales however big you want. If you want them really big, guys, I like to make them medium sized. Just look. The dough turned out really spreadable. And of course, I'm going to add the ribs and red sauce, which were delicious. We add some potatoes, an olive, and onion. I'm going to add a small piece of chili. Here in my country, we make tamales tied together. This time, I'm just going to fold them. At the beginning of the channel, you can see the tamales tied together like we make them here in my country, so if you want, go watch the video. Today, I'm going to make them folded. We folded them really easily, look. And we're going to leave them like this, that's how I'm going to make them. Let's see how many tamales we get. We already made a tamale that was quite big. Look, find the thinnest side of the husk and leave the roughest side on the outside. You're going to put your husk on top of the dough so it's easier for you. Look how easy it is to spread. I've finished assembling the tamales. I got 50 tamales. The amount will depend on the size of your tamales. You may get a little more if you make them very small. I made them medium sized, but I didn't make them very small, so I got 50 tamales. We now have a pot here where I'm going to cook them. We put the disc on. I also put some leftover leaves here. Make sure the water doesn't spill over the disc so the tamales don't get too wet. Okay, now I'm going to start arranging them. Let's arrange them. I'm going to arrange them standing up. Look, they're quite big, aren't they? Or what do you think? Let's arrange them. Once I've arranged them in the pot, I put some needles that I had left over here. Now we're going to cook them for about an hour. These tamales have been here for an hour, just over an hour later and they're done. Look at how beautiful these tamales are. I'm going to let them set a little bit. Let them cool down a little bit so I can show you the result of these tamales. Look how beautiful they are. They came out divine and you can't believe how delicious they smell, huh? They smell so good. Well, we've taken a tamale out of the pot and we're going to try it. Look at this tamale. They're a good size. Let's go. It's cooled down a little bit and we're going to try it. Look how it comes off the husk on its own, all by itself. That's a sign that your tamales turned out really tasty. Look at that. And they came out really fluffy, uh, fluffy. And I didn't need to add any baking powder this time. And they still came out really fluffy. Look at this dough, it turned out really beautiful. M. Excuse me. M. Delicious, delicious. M, they were just right in salt. The dough was fluffy, very tasty and the meat is very soft. I love them, I love them. M M. Delicious. Just look at this beautiful little tamale. M. So make this recipe. I know you're going to love it. And well, friends, if you liked my recipe, please subscribe to my channel and give me a like.
Enjoy your meal. And here we continue, enjoying this delicious rib tamale in red sauce. With your permission.